G'day there, podcaster. Ben here. Good things coming up in today's pod, or this evening, or tonight, whenever you're listening to it. Um, Belle's ultimate dog act. I'll tell you what she did uh, if you keep listening. Also, Sharon shares too much about her body. She's probably one of my favourite callers. If not, she's my favourite caller of the year so far. Plus, what meal did your mum make you when she was angry? Bon appetit. Live across Australia, this is Ben, Liam and Belle's Late Drive. On Nova. 13, 24, 10. You knew you were getting old when... When did you realise, Ben? That I was getting old? Yeah, you're so old, man. Um, probably when um, we got Pizza Hut. Uh, no, sorry, we got Domino's. <laughs> 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 I just get pizza. Classic dads. Well, yeah. Get, we, <laughs> we got Domino's mm. and I always go for the end bit first. And Belle, you said, why do you go for the end bit? And I said, I think I'm getting, I think I am getting old. I yeah. guess I go for the end bit. Yeah, better get yeah. the crash done first. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, look, you are, you look, you are the dad in the team. You're the only parent in the room. Mm. Um, you're also like more like a granddad, really. But you like a lot of like, um, you like like golf. I know a lot of people golf. like golf these days. Love but... old stuff. Love it. Love antiques. Yeah, you love grass. Like you're yeah. you're sort of wise beyond your years. Um, but there was something that I saw the other night that sort of crossed the line for mm. me a little bit. Um, you put something up on your Instagram story now. <laughs> um, I given old oh, people don't really use Instagram, so yep. I'm surprised you worked out how to do that. Yeah. Oh, but, but he does it rarely, very rarely, yeah. very rarely. Yeah. That's why it's like, whoa, what, what is it? Like, what's it going to be? Like it's sort of like Liam puts a story up, and I go, oh yeah, yeah. probably have a funny TikTok. Yeah. But um, no, when Ben puts a story up, I'm like, it's what like when could rappers like Kendrick doing? Lamar or something, they'll delete all their Instagram, and, like, and then they do like one thing, and it's just like a tile. And you're, what does that mean? Is it a new album? Yeah. That's kind of like Ben's yeah. Instagram. But he he put up a photo, right? Um, of him sitting there in his happy place, and it's a block of old gold rum and raisin. Yum. And what seemed to be some sort of goblet of port. It's a port glass, yeah. It's, it's a glass specifically for drinking port. Dude, you you, you <laughs> buy old gold rum and raisin? Yeah. That is they that is for retirement homes. Like, that not. is for old people. It's delicious. I love sultanas. And the, the taste of rum is growing on me with age, and so I really like rum and you're, raisin. You're 30. You weren't born in 1930. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not supposed to like that stuff. And poor is just, it's so underrated. Like, I think growing up, especially as a young male, you think, oh, beer, you drink beer. But then when I realized, like, I, don't get me wrong, I like a beer, but my <laughs> drink of choice would be a tawny. Yeah. Look, and I, I, that- I don't mind it as well, but I'm just like... No, but it it wasn't like there was that, mm. and then I loved the follow up story of like, oh, you're like, yes, I have eaten <laughs> half the block of rum and raisin. I <laughs> normally have like, my two square rations, otherwise I get a like, little bilious <laughs> before I go to bed at five pm. A wild Thursday night. Yeah, oh look out, Ben's had half a block of old gold. Is this your favourite song? Is this what you're listening to? Oh. I do oh, like yeah. this kind of music. <laughs> Easy listening. <laughs> Aaron joins us now. You knew you were getting old when? I knew I was getting old when I had to wear runners to a concert. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, not doing the heels tonight. Do you know, actually, Aaron, I relate. Um, I went to a gig the other week and before they even came out, like I, we were waiting in the, like, you know, dare I say mosh, it was just the standing area. Mm. And I was like, I have to see it. My, my feet are sore. That yeah. hadn't even started. And I was like, my feet are sore. Yeah, it's a problem. Liv, what about you? You knew you were getting old when? When I was excited by pot plants. Yeah. That's yeah. Old. That's old. Absolutely. Um, a purchase I recently made, um, my wife Sam and I bought new pots. I thought you were going to say pots, like cooking pots. I did a lot of research into stainless oh, well, steel. That's yeah, I did a lot of looking into different types of pots um, <laughs> because we had Teflon pots. Mm. Or Teflon, how do you say it? Turns out they're pretty bad for you. So uh, mm. we've invested in some stainless steel pots. It's better yeah. for you. When and I, like kitchen mm. knives? Yeah, kitchen knives. And I've recently gotten into sharpening my knives <laughs> and yeah. chopping blocks. Because if you have um, respect for your knife, you'd get a good chopping board to go with it. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Good on you, Olivia. <laughs> what good happened? You know, when I met you, Ben, you're in a, into a different type of pot. And now it's, <laughs> it's all about gardening and Teflon with you. An old gold chocolate. No fun anymore. <laughs> Um, Ebony uh, joins us now. You knew you were getting old when? When 10pm was too late for pre-drinks. Oh, oh. that's crazy. 
I thought you were going to say when 10 p.m. is your bedtime. I was like, I go to bed at, like, I used to go to bed at 7.30. Now I'm on air, but I go to bed at 9 o'clock. That's wild. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that nuts? When when we finish talking, Ben's asleep within the hours. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, so we can't ever get the show to a level where we're really firing on all cylinders because he's within his like bed hour. Yeah. But it's weird when you think about it. Do you remember the days like you'd have pre's at like 9 or 10 mm. and then you'd go out at like midnight? And it's weird to think have about you, that. When now. was the last time you did an all-nighter? Oh, a long time ago. Oh, when he had oh, Freddie, his newborn, and he yeah, didn't sleep. Sure. That was it, his all-nighter. Yeah, absolutely. Different, different type of one. Uh, Rach, what about you? When did you know you were getting old? Um, I was talking to a few boys at work about the first concert we'd been to, and I said that I saw Spandau Ballet, and <laughs> their song, Gold, was just the highlight of the concert. And they all just couldn't explain faces. I didn't and know I Gold. believe in your soul. When was that, Rach? Oh, my God. Back in the late 80s. Yeah. Do you know what, though? This slaps. Go, go, always believe in yourself. Oh, I was just singing the wrong bit. <laughs> I can do a parody. Old gold. <laughs> my favourite chocolate goes with pot. <laughs> yes, they had tons of hits. The other one about love. Yep. <laughs> Spend a Good ballet. stuff for True. Rach. True. That's yep. the name of it. Uh, Sharon, in Sydney, you knew you were getting old when? Well, I've got two bits to that. The first one was when I was 50 and I no longer had to shave under my arms because I hit menopause. Oh, that's the a bit of a win, bit, right? I think like, actually, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the second bit is yeah. when I hit 60, I had a wine belly, so I decided to. Let's lose that. And then I saw that, um, am I allowed to say this? My my pubes went grey and I realised that I no longer had to have a bikini wax. Um, I've had a few wines and the maid on the phone said to me, as long as you, because I said to him, I don't, I've, I've had a few yeah, wines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you don't swear, I don't swear, okay. even though I'm a parole officer. Yep. You're a parole officer, Sharon. Sharon, I couldn't tell. Yeah. We could do a bit, right? We could do a bit where um, on the show at around this time each night, do you always have a couple of wines or is this, is this a one-off? Or? Oh, no, I always have a couple of wines. Yeah, we could get you on the show like, like same time and just check in with you, see how you're doing. Oh, I thought you were going to play a game of are you drunk or not? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, answer. Yeah, yeah. I thought oh it was going to be a game God. where you, you guess people's colours pubes. Oh, yeah. You you guys fill my heart with love because you're so young. You're like my kids and oh, God, God, they wish me oh, up. Like, I just love. So, Shaz, are you, are so you sitting around? You guys. You're, you're sitting around listening to the radio having a couple of wines. Is that how you spend oh. your nights? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sitting out on my back deck and I'm watching some of the bats fly over my house. Oh, yeah. Love that. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 you yeah. know, as you do. Yeah, as you do, absolutely, Sharon. <laughs> yeah. oh, thank you. But anyway, oh, yeah. guys, I love you so much and um, thank you for having me oh, on your show. Sharon, oh, you call thanks, Sharon. anytime, okay? <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Thank you so See much. You, Bye, Sharon. Sharon. It's so funny. Like, people are like, oh, when I do a sneaks at a concert or like, oh, I don't know. When I like to dark a chocolate. And Sharon's like, when my pubes got grey. I'm like, yeah, that is a telltale sign. <laughs> Sitting on a deck watching bats fly overhead. <laughs> With no run. What a legend. <laughs> Belle, did you dob on me? What? Did you dob on me? In terms of what? <laughs> I, th- I, be- I think Belle dobbed on me, oh, Liam. Belle, you can't dob. She dobbed on Are me. Are you a dibba dobber, Cindy? I think she might be. Ben, what Liam and I Cindy. Do? What did I do? Well, you and my wife, Sam, went to the gym together today, which is lovely. Yeah. Got our I've- box on. Yeah, yeah. You went to boxing together, and I love that, but I think you dobbed on me. Oh, don't dob on him. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you dobbed on him. I should mention my Was wife, Sam. Was it about Sam- her cooking dinner? Uh, th- th- well, that was the second thing, oh. actually. Yeah, that, 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 there was that as well. Yeah, there was that, which is a, a story for another time. But because oh. I should mention, my wife, Sam, doesn't listen to the show. Um, and so she doesn't know what we get up to unless oh, someone tells her. Ooh. So she got home from the gym with Belle and said, do you make fun of Belle for getting migraines? <laughs> and I said, no. Like, barely. You didn't say barely. no. I said I would never do that. Oh, Liam does that. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, because it sounds to me like you and Liam tease her for having days off if she has a migraine. Which you like famously do. And I said, All the time. And I said, 
I've always told her migraines are horrible. They're serious. They're very they serious. Are. They're very they serious, are. Liam. And I've always said to her, if you ever need a day off, you should never feel any judgment or shame mm. for asking for a, a day off a, if you have a migraine. Because I take them so seriously. I hate And you. it made me a little bit emotional because I was like, I, I would I'm never, so I, nice I would actually, never do nice. that to her. And honey. even though, because Ben and I have never had a sick day in like yeah. over 10 years. And like, you, Belle, you've had tons of them for migraines. The and we're always very supportive of them because we, we actually understand how yeah. painful migraines are. are. Yeah. And and also, hi, Sam, if you're listening to the podcast later on, because I'm sure Ben will probably um, <laughs> yeah. play this break. So yeah. hi, hi, Sam. Yeah. So I, as I told her, I never make fun of Belle for having a migraine. Mm. I actively encourage days off if you have a migraine because there's a thing, right? Migraine hangover. So the next day... Even oh you, my god! Even, this is what I told her about. No, Ben. Even no. if you've had a migraine, Seriously? the next oh day god. you still feel like a bit oh, like hungover. That's horrible. Which is horrible. Because like, I said to so her, so people who come to work oh after god. having a migraine, in my opinion, heroes. Absolutely, I absolutely. Not all heroes wear capes. Some have headaches. You know, <laughs> yeah, and they're, just, they're just working. <laughs> how can you do this to me? So, Bill, can you please now tell my wife um, how nice I am to you at work? You guys <laughs> call it a. What do you call? I don't even know the story about you call it a world famous migraine, but it's Belle's world famous. Oh, she's got a yeah, migraine. It's because, it's because Belle's Ooh. known. Belle's known for having migraines Ooh. around the office. Supposedly, oh, she has a little headache. Oh, yeah, and which... I'm like b- fully blind and can't feel anything, mm, and I'm about to sucks. pass out and vomit. If, you, if you've got and one you coming on now, you feel the need oh to God, take the rest of the show off. That's fine. That is serious? fine. That is fine. I can't believe it. I can't believe I can't you're believe gaslighting me this I, bad right now. I can't now. believe you dobbed them. Yeah. I can't believe you bully me That's every not cool. day That's about not my cool. migraines. That's not cool you dobbed on me. Then don't do it in the first place. It's like a- if you're a child, <laughs> don't bully a kid and then go home and say, oh my gosh, you know, someone's <laughs> dobbed on me for bullying this kid. Don't bully the kid in the first place. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm so angry at you right now. I'm so mad. Well, Belle, be so... careful. You know what happens when you get angry. But also, I can't believe she didn't know that you do that. She I, doesn't listen I to think the I show. said to her, well, as you know, the boys give me a lot of crap for having migraines. Yeah, that's why she was confused because she said, by the sounds of it, you made fun of having migraines. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, 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 so no. So hang on, no. does she now think that you don't make fun of me? Of course. I've covered my ass. <laughs> And you won't be going to the gym again together, that's for sure. <laughs> have to you cut that contact down. I got the gym with Belle. Have you seen the car keys? No. I <laughs> don't know where they went. Don't do it in the first place, <laughs> and if you don't want me to tell her. It's 610. Hallelujah, it's 610. Jess in Sydney, have you ever played the 610 quiz before? I haven't, no, but All I'm excited. Right. Well, hey, your voice is on air, so you're already in the draw for Nervous Flows. First class of 50k, that's pretty awesome. Um, but if you get all these questions right, you pick the next song we play. Um, Zendaya is actually in your hometown at the moment, in Sydney, to promote her new film. What Zendaya movie is set on the desert planet of Arrakis? Mm. June. Yeah, you seen it? I haven't. Oh, you got to but... do yourself a favour. <laughs> so good. I mean, I, I was promoting it a fair bit yesterday, but June and June too. Doing yeah. back to I'm back. so glad you said you haven't seen it, Jess, because if you said yes, we would have been here for <laughs> half an is, hour. Liam keeps saying how good it is and how like biggest movie in the world. No one's seen it. I've never, <laughs> I've never spoken to anyone that's seen it except for Liam. Yeah. He's like, well, it's going to be the biggest film of the year, guys. It's the Star Wars of this generation. Hey, look, a Brisbane man has been rescued after spending 36 hours in a drain, much like a rat. Can you spell Ratatouille for us? That's tough. Oh, God. Think of the movie. Ratatouille. Uh, so um, is, is there a time limit? Do I have a time uh, no, limit? No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, okay, you can just Google don't it. Just go for no, it. No, don't yeah. Google it. <laughs> Um, this is the vibe I got when you okay, said was there a time limit. I, I know that it starts with... An R. <laughs> I, think I think you do okay. know that, Jess. <laughs> R-A-T-A-T-O-U-I-L-L-E. That's crazy. From the top of your dome, like, that's to come crazy. out, that's awesome. You went from not working out if it starts an R with an R or not to like just nailing it, first shot. No, wow, I suppose we're just going to... that? Just going to take your word for it. Um, anyway... <laughs> Heinz is reducing the number of beans in tins of baked beans. What Australian <laughs> idol judge has the surname Heinz? Uh, Marsha Heinz? Yeah, that's the one. They call her Beansy Ooh. on set, I believe. No, I don't know if that's true or not. You'll have to ask Ricky Lee. Hey, uh, actress Olivia Coleman refuses to be on any kind of social media. What social media app has a yellow logo with a white ghoul on it? <laughs> A yellow logo with mm. what? Like a white ghoul, like a ghost. 
Oh, Snapchat. Yeah. All right, last one here. This is a bit sad. Splendor in the Grass got cancelled, unfortunately, which is devastating. Uh, Kylie was the headline act. Can you please finish these lyrics? Nice. Yeah. I almost feel like we cut you off there with the ding. It felt like yeah. you were just about to let rip. This. Yeah, well done, Jess. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you're in the draw for first class and 50K. You also get to choose the next song we play. So would you like Rogue Traders? Or Robbie Williams. Yeah. Feels like a Robbie kind of night, doesn't oh, it, Jess? Oh, yeah. 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 You going, Robbie? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Now yeah. no, we've been doing this thing lately. We've been trying to badger the witness a bit, and like it feels like even if you wanted Rogue Traders there, you were gonna pick Robbie. Great song on this Wednesday evening. Robbie Williams, rock DJ. Oh, no one can wear a single quite like him, can mm. they, Robbie? Uh, uh, that's the one where he pulls the skin off, right? Rock DJ in that oh. film clip? Yes, yep. it is. Yes. It is. So scary. Oh. I have some of my earliest memories was watching MTV and he's rollerblading around that rink and he's pulling yep. his skin off and I mm. thought it was so horrifying. Yeah. Does he get down to his bones? He's down to his bones, yeah. What does and he do after that? I think that's it. That's it. The skeletons. I think it's else. like all the women are loving him and they're like, oh my God. Yeah, and he keeps his taking clothes, his clothes. And the skin starts coming and off. And he's like pulling, like, like pulling his bicep off. And is the message like his... there, I think like you've just unlocked a horrific childhood memory? Of yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I know. Forgot about that. I know I'm scarred from that. That was hideous. And yes, we were children just watching. Is the, the video bit hits. is the bit like you know everyone wants a piece of him? Is that what it is? Yeah, like, probably. Just... It's probably a deeper message to that. Like, oh, what do you? When's it going to be enough? Yeah, you know, do I have to rip my pectoral off, yeah. muscle off and throw it? Oh, at you? Is that will it. that be enough then? Mm. When you think about it, like waking up on Saturday morning and watching mm. those like music shows, you'd get a video clip like that, and then the next one would just be like fully X-rated. Like yeah, oh, the do, other do, one. Do you guys remember the the one that is stuck in my head? Apart from that one that we just talked about. Is Britney Spears toxic when yeah. she's got oh, the? Yeah. Is she on the plane and she's rolling yeah. around? On, mm-hmm. Yeah, on and the plane. she's in that um, diamond like. What about like, what was the one where there was the um the baby the babies? Oh my god! Literally, we're yeah. thinking the same thing. Oh. When the cargo carrier opens and the babies all a, <laughs> parachute out to the girl with the big boobs. It's a good song as well. Yeah, it's a I good honestly song. can't even remember what song it was. And the, the saxophone song with the girls bum, with the bum, mini bum, skirts. Bum, destination. And <laughs> yeah, should we do 13, 24, 10? What sexy film clip do you have good memories of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just, if, look, we were just like eight years old just sitting in front of the TV. Yeah, like, it's, okay. It's, <laughs> it's, not what we're, it's not what we're doing next, but... You know, if you if one's popped into your head whilst we've been having that conversation, you're like, oh my god, remember this one? This one was sexy, or this one was scary, like from like a song Even film like clip. Thirteen, hearts. twenty, four, ten. <laughs> Boogie pimps, somebody to love. That's the one. Don't you want somebody to love? That's the one. Don't you want? want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scarring. <laughs> shine down. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shine down. Don't the talk over Shine down, mate. Thought, Calm down. I thought the song was done. Well, the Shine down heads will get angry. They'll was, they'll they'll kibosh the show. They'll boycott us. There was a bit more there. Um, well, look, if you're an angry Shine down fan, you want to get in touch. You can always hit us up on the Ben Lehman Bell Instagram. That is the show. Late drive with Ben Lehman Bell. Thirteen twenty four ten. This is kind of probably going to be aimed more at ladies to call in. How hopeless were they when you met them? As in, like when you met a guy. How hopeless was he? I used to put um, my dishes on the on the lawn and then hose them off. That was, that was me doing the dishes. And then when I met my wife, Sam, that all changed. <laughs> Honey, should I take these out the front and hose them down? or <laughs> No, we've got, we've got a dishwasher. Well, there's two jobs in one because you'd clean the dishes and you'd water the lawn. Yeah, it's just got little bits of pasta on it now. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we're living around here at work with one, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I should use his name. Yeah. Jack. Jack. Producer Jack, he's a legend, but he's a he's a proper bachelor. I've not been to his house. I'd mm. imagine he'd have a TV, TV on the floor without a cabinet. Yep. He would be amongst, and dare I say, like majority of single dudes. In fact, you know what? Yeah, 99% of single mm. guys have a mattress on the floor. You got your mattress on the disgusting. floor, guy, Jack? You got a bed. Uh, nice. You have a bed frame? Wow. You got, oh, you you got a fitted sheet on it? You're just sleeping on the mattress. 
<laughs> well, you got a bed, but I tell you, I tell you what, you don't have. Um, the other day, I said, uh, I bet you'd be, be real into frozen pizza, and he said, don't have a freezer. <laughs> <laughs> and then we said, what do you have? And he said, I, got, I just got a bar fridge. A bar like, fridge. What the hell? It's like real single dad, divorced dad sort of. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, you know what Jack did on his Saturday? He went through his drawer, realized mm. he didn't have any fresh shirts, mm. yeah. and instead of going and doing a load of washing, mm. he just went and bought a new shirt. Bought a new shirt. Just when it came out. That's a man who needs some TLC right there. If you want to, hey, Jack, we should put you up, you know, if, if he's a bachelor. Well, he, he, he is actually behind the Ben Lee Mabel Instagram. So yeah. If, you, <laughs> yeah, if you hit that up, um, you know, he is single. Uh, Alison joins us in Adelaide. Um, tell us about this this hopeless person that you met when, when you met them. <laughs> that, sorry, that, that, uh, that didn't come out right. How hopeless were they when you met them, Alison? When you met them. <laughs> They were very hopeless. Mm. Um, so when I first went to his apartment, all he had was a TV and two outdoor white chairs as his, like, couch. Basically. Wow. No. So hang on. <laughs> the white outdoor chair, like the plastic chairs, the were plastic inside. from, like, Bunnings. Yeah. <laughs> no. That was inside? Yeah. Was it? Was he sort yeah, of that, saying... That, that was his couch. And Alison, had he just moved into the place? Was it a bit of an excuse or, like... How... No, he was just lazy. <laughs> He'd been there for years. That's disgraceful. That's actually just. I mean, you can go to IKEA and get. You can get cheap as couches. They're not like some of them aren't comfy, but you can get you couches for like a couple hundred bucks. Jess in <laughs> Melbourne, how hopeless were they when you met them? Well, when I first started seeing this guy and came around to say hi and um, you know spend the night, um, he literally had one cup, one plate. One knife and fork um, and no frying pan. If it didn't go in the deep fryer, it didn't get cooked, basically. That's awesome, isn't it? Yes. And wow. he hadn't changed his sheets in two months. So. Oh, nice. But there was also no spares, so I couldn't change them before I got in them either. Wow. Yeah. So those sheets would have almost looked like the stuff that he was dropping in the it deep fryer. You know did, what you mean? Ever, yeah. did you stay with that guy or did you move on? Yeah. Still with him. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're one of those people like, I can fix him. Oh, I'm going yeah. to get I, him a fitted sheet. I love that you say that because my wife sometimes sometimes will drop in an argument. She'd be like, well, if I don't do it, no one will do it. But it's like, it's so true because I don't care. Like I, 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 would, I would live like that happily. I'm paying these people out. I used to make my bed quite well. Yep. However, my bed did break. I've told you guys this before. My bed like it had a leg broken off of it on mm. the side I slept in. And I never got fixed, so I sort of slept a bit like a vampire, like where my feet were like higher than my head. And sometimes I'd wake up with like headaches and like veins in my head. I'm like, Jesus, I got to fix it, but I just never did. Is that why your veins are so prominent? All right, mm. Dana joins us in Sydney. How hopeless were they? So hopeless. He asked to cook my favourite meal of beef stroganoff one night mm. and left the skin on the onion. No, the onion really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So yeah. it's nice that he was trying to do a he good thing. He was having thing. a run at the strog, but yeah. he just forgot to just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, never cooked, he never cooked again. <laughs> Imagine that asking a girl, like, what, what meal do you want? Hoping, like, oh, pizza or something. Yeah. She's like, beef stroganoff. <laughs> yeah, like, beef stroganoff. No idea. That's like a meal that my mum made, which was angry, I feel. Like, I feel like beef stroganoff <laughs> was not a good... Do you know what I mean? Like, mum's had enough. Literally, if you're coming home and it's strog night, <laughs> we, like, you know, just keep it quiet, I reckon. <laughs> can we do... What was your mum's angry meal at yes. some point? Yes. My mum's yeah. lost Chow yes. Mane. Chow <laughs> <laughs> but with two minute noodles. Yeah, so- Absolutely. Side note, 132410, what was your mum's angry meal? If right now you're listening, you're like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. definitely something if, that yeah. Mu- yeah. If mum made X, I knew yeah. she was mad. You know what's another classic? Apricot chicken. <laughs> if you, if you're getting, fancy, if you're getting apricot chicken, mum's had a hard day at work, I reckon. <laughs> uh, Renee in Sydney, how hopeless were they? Hi, guys. Um, he didn't used to eat vegetables until he met me. So on our first time that he cooked me dinner, he actually made chicken fajitas, and it was just chicken seasoned in a wrap. <laughs> Hang on. So there was nothing else in the fajita? Just chicken? No, nothing else. It's just, like the easiest thing to add stuff in. in. Wow. Yeah, no lettuce, no... No extra flavour. Because yeah. I feel like even if even if you're not a healthy person, if you're doing an old El Paso taco night, you know, you, you yep. whatever. It's you're putting some like tomato in mm. and some lettuce, like at the very least. Yeah. Just wow. just have a little bit of freshness in there. Hey Renee, thank you so much for sharing your story. You're now in the draw for Nova's first class and fifty K. Amazing. Thank you so much. What's your mum's angry meal? Yeah. The meal mum made when she's just absolutely fed up with the day. You sort of knew when it came in front of you, like, oh, okay, I better not try it on tonight. I better just sit here and eat this. Be your quiet. Liam, your mum's was well. It came up in the last final we were doing beef stroganoff, yeah, um, but right. I also put 
uh, apricot chicken on mm-hmm. that list. And yours was? My mum made chow mein with two minute noodles in it. And that's when we knew <laughs> she's had a bad day. <laughs> Anne, in Melbourne, what was your mum's angry meal? She made canned tomato soup with toasted sandwiches. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, and, and isn't it funny sometimes it can work in your defence because sometimes mum can try something fancy and you don't really like it, but like mm. her angry meals are actually not all that bad. Mm. So, I, mean, I, I wouldn't be that angry with that. Brock, in Melbourne, what was your mum making when she was pissed off? Well, she uh, she used to make spaghetti bolognese, but there was um, there was actually two spaghetti bolognese. Mm. We um, we had spaghetti bolognese, the fancy one, when she was in a good mood, which was like <laughs> long spaghetti and oh, really yeah. nice pasta sauce yeah, homemade. Yeah. Yeah, 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 when yeah. she was angry, it was the uh, the pasta sauce out of the jar, spiral yeah. noodles, <laughs> and yeah. lots of frozen veggies. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're having your carrots tonight, mate, and they're going to be a bit wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go to Sydney. Abby, you're 12 years old. What's your mum's angry meal? Well, um, I know I'd, I'd be done for when she made just plain toasted sandwiches. <laughs> sandwiches, just cheese. Just cheese. <laughs> and, that's, and that's when you know you're done for. Are you with mum at the moment? Uh-oh. Mum. Oh, oh, oh a bit of a bad phone line. Sorry, Abby. Are you with your mum? Oh, I can hear the mum in the back. So, yeah. mum, when was the last time you busted out the cheese toasties? Was it recent? Uh, pretty recently. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, k- good on you for fighting the good fight. You're in the draw for Nova's first class in 50K. Hopefully you can get some mum time on, in New York, something like that. Uh, Gemma in Melbourne, what was your mum making when she was angry? She was making curried sausages. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And funnily enough, that's also my grandma's angry meal. So Ooh. I think it's a bit of generational trauma. That's mm. it. And and are you a mother yourself, Jim? Uh, look, I have not cooked it ever, but maybe one day if I have kids, yeah. I will also have curried sausages yeah, as yeah. my angry meal. You have to, you just Gemma. Gotta, you just got to feed it down the chain. Yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a long history <laughs> of giving a little shit of curried sausage if they've, <laughs> if they've given you a hard time, you know? Gemma, thank you very much. I live with a detective, Ben and Bell. My wife, Sarah, she's a nurse by trade, but she should work for the FBI. Um, I picked something up from the dry cleaners yesterday, and they really threw me off. Anyway, I was um, I was telling my wife this story over dinner last mm. night, and she went, ah, no present then. And I was like, what? And we share an account, right? Mm. And she saw that I... Drew out some cash. Oh. So she assumed that I was going to go off the grid and buy her a nice present. <laughs> That's what that she, was her so assumption. She sort of saw that That's there was funny. like a hundred bucks missing. And then she said she spent the rest of the day at work thinking, what's he going to get me? <laughs> <laughs> Which is so funny. That's such a healthy sign for your relationship. I know, but there, is it? Yeah, because she doesn't go, oh my gosh, he withdrew a hundred bucks. Who's he cheating with? Mm. It's he withdrew a hundred bucks. He's what's he going to get me? He's going to get me well, a she present. She said she was going to text me during the day and go, that's a cheap bag. But then she was like, oh, I better not text him because then I'll yeah. spoil the present. I don't want him to know that I'm ruining the surprise. Yep. But yeah, you get nothing past her. Well, you're going to go get a gift now for it? Uh, no, no, no. No, you have to. No, he doesn't. Yes, you do. No, now doesn't. she's she's gotten herself excited for a present. So now you have to, you have to yeah, feel the excitement. Yeah, birthday's in October. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sure I'll line something up great. I've got like a few months to think about it. Are you serious? <laughs> what do you mean? No, you have to go get yeah. married like a couple of months ago. That was great. That was expensive. That and was good. Now you've, got a, you've got to keep up your half the bargain here. No, yeah, what? No, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's just about it for the show, I believe. And up next, Smallsy is rolling in with none other than Delta. Lost without you. Just a couple of hits up her sleeve. I had a bit of a longer drive on Sunday going out to the countryside and I played the whole Late Innocent Eyes. You had a Delta drive, didn't you? I sure did. Everyone, everyone's got to treat themselves to a little Delta drive every now and then. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did you have that one? <laughs> you got the uh, Delta Christmas album? Oh, yes, of mm-hmm. course. That's the last time we spoke to Delta, we, I think. Yeah, yeah, last time we spoke to Delta was around Christmas time, and we interviewed her about her Christmas album, and with the whole interview, we were talking to her about eating prawns. 
That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and she was very kind about that. She was she very like, kind. Can you ask yeah. me a question about the album? Or? <laughs> so do you, how do you do it? Do you like rip the heads off? Or like, what do you? So I'm sure <laughs> we went deep on the prawn. I'm chat. I'm sure there'll be limited prawn chat, but I would more argue, chat about. What? I would argue with Smallsy and the Delta chat. I would say he has zero prawn related questions. Yeah, because think... he's a good interviewer and he that gets is true. to the crux mm. of the In fact, story. as a little mm. nod to Late Drive, I'd love it if you th- threw one curly prawn <laughs> one in there for us, Smallsy. That would <laughs> yeah. be good. Just see, for a bit a of, challenge. For a bit of nerve <laughs> camaraderie. And that's something to stick around for. Um, hey, if you get time as well this evening, if you haven't already, I um, highly encourage you to get around the Ben Linville socials. I've uh, got TikTok, obviously. Also got the Instagram. If you jump onto the Instagram now, how cool is this? If you follow it, right? You'll be our 137,641st follower. That is prestigious. <laughs> Isn't that Jump cool? on. <laughs> Get Jump around on it. while you can. Get Don't miss it. out. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.